Joining me now is Courtney Coffin of the Escondido Union High School District. Good morning to you, Courtney. Good morning. And I, was, I, I wasn't even joking when I said, could I see your wings? Because <laughs> what you do is angels work. Could you please explain what your specialty is? Yeah, of course. Um, so I work at Orange Glen High School in Escondido. I am a special education teacher. I teach high school grades 9 through 12. And I work with the students who have the highest support needs on campus, so students who have disabilities who are um, going to get a certificate of completion as opposed to a high school diploma. Wow. So now, people that I've encountered in that line of work, mm -hmm. it's not just a job. It's a, there's something in their life that led them in that direction. Is that, is that the case with you? Yeah, it, it sure is. Um, so I knew I always wanted to work with the students or people who have disabilities. Um, and I started working, well, I got my special education degree. I started working in a home for women with developmental disabilities from the ages of 50 to 90. Um, and that was a residential setting. And I really fell in love with it. I loved working with adults. Um, but there is, you can't pay your bills, <laughs> sadly. Right. So um, then that led me to education. And then many years later, when I was in my 20s, my dad um, got a traumatic brain injury when I was about two or three years old. And I didn't really connect those dots literally until I was in my mid-20s. So like, wait a second, <laughs> this probably all stemmed from being raised and living with So a you didn't even realize no, it? No, no, not well, at all. Uh, so things, you, you just take the littlest things for granted that uh, normal teachers do. The ability to communicate, behavioral issues, you have to have the patience of Job, do you not? <laughs> um, yes, I do. I, I mean, it is a bit of a trope, so I feel like I have a lot of tools <laughs> that mm. I can utilize whenever my patients kind of might start to, you know, linger. So uh, uh, tell us about the honor. I, 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 I assume no one's going to dispute it. I mean, everybody, uh, everybody recognizes the extra work that you have to put in. Oh, yes, of course. Um, uh, so, meaning like the application process, right. or, or, or no? I'm talking about just uh, to me. You would be looking at your application and looking yes. at reading your essay. You you stick out in a crowd of teachers. I mean, I know I know there's a lot of good teachers, but yes. what you do is very special. I think I definite definitely feel the most honored when I'm at my high school campus at Orange Glen High School because that's the community I love, the community I respect, and when I have other teachers tell me there is no one that is more deserving of this than you and I think they're amazing and so deserving that's when I really feel the people who see me day in and day out who've seen my career at Orange Glen over, over the past 10 almost 11 school years uh, who have seen me transform the program the ones that really know the work and the students and how much more visible my students are on campus than years prior um, th those that's what really gets me okay. in my heart <laughs> Yeah, the respect of your peers, of course, because of the yes. people that know. Yes, of course. All right, so where, where does it go from here? I mean, what, what, is this, is there something else that you can do along the lines of special ed? Or, or is this where you want to be? I have, uh, gosh, second year of teaching. I've been teaching, this is my 15th school year altogether. Um, from the second year I started teaching, I've had so many people tell me, you need to go into administration, you need to go into administration, you'd be great in administration, and I'm just not interested. <laughs> You want to be on the front lines. Uh, I want to be in the classroom. Yeah. I want to be working with families, especially in Escondido, the families who need it the most, um, who I can help see what resources are out there that they may not have known about. Just out of curiosity, the impact you have in the classroom can't be measured. As an administrator, could you could you affect more change, do you think? Um, possibly. I mean, you work with more people, but then you're not in the classroom. Right. So I believe, your, I believe your scope is wider but your impact on an individual is so much less because right. I can really change a person and a family's um, you know, experience versus kind of making some surface level push. How you can do that interview with your wings <laughs> up against a chair like that. Uh, just quickly, share with us what you said on, on the podium. What was your speech? Oh gosh, um, I think my speech, um, I was after my shot kind of sunk in and I got comfortable on the stage. I, um, my um, speech really had to do with really, really being so proud of Escondido Union High School District um, for selecting me as teacher of the year because we are a high school district, so that means my, my colleagues, you know, in a week they might see 100 plus students um, right. in their classroom. I see 13. 
So I think by selecting me that we are saying we really care about the quality of instruction for our students who with the highest support needs, with the, with the most significant disabilities, and that their education really matters and the quality of people who are educating them really matter. And I think highlighting me highlights the program and highlights, um, highlights all folks with disability and um, how, we, how we want them to operate in our school systems and community and how we can see them as capable and skilled. I'm not worthy to do this interview. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for riding in and continued success. And, and on behalf of all the lives you touched, thank you, thank you, a thousand thank yous. I greatly appreciate it. All this right. has been a blast. Thank you. Uh,